you've got an older fiberglass boat like this one then the chances are there have been that many bits and pieces that have been bolted on and removed over the years on the transom of your boat then it'll look like a bit of a pincushion. The question is how do you go about filling all those holes in a way that, that they don't show through the surface, they're watertight and permanent repairs. I'm going to show you in two minutes how to repair a hole in fiberglass. So you've got lots of holes maybe in your transom or somewhere on your fiberglass boat and you want to fill it in a way which is uh, strong, waterproof and permanent and also so you end up with a nice um, plus surface. So we look at two different situations here. So one would be solid glass. <clears throat> Say you've got uh, six millimeters of solid glass and we're repairing a hole with no greater than six millimeter diameter. So um, the chances are that that's been filled with some kind of a sealant. Uh, there might even be some silicon in there and you want to remove that first of all. So uh, a, a pass through with say a 6.5 millimeter bit will clear any contamination off the walls of the original hole. Then what we're trying to do is to create a plug which is not going to punch out if it's say it's on the transom and you get a slap of a wave on the transom. You don't want that uh, plug to be parallel on the sides because it's just going to pop straight through. It'll also create uh, what some people have called a halo effect where you have a little rim around the outside of the plug. So I've uh, created a, a, a purpose-built tool to solve that problem. So I've taken a spade bit and I've simply ground the shoulders of the spade bit down to about 30 degrees. Depending on the size of the hole and the thickness of the substrate, you might want to use a larger or a smaller spade bit. So this one will do for a six mil hole and six mil thick laminate. So what we're going to do is uh, after initially reaming that hole out just to clean it out, we're going to drill it now and to create a bevel. So the idea is that we're creating a flare here and, and a taper. This repair can be affected from the outside by putting tape across the inside if you've got access there. If not, um, and you're using the right kind of filling putty, you can push that through and, um, and it will kind of bulge out a little bit at the back there, which is not a bad thing. So the filling putty is going to fill this area here like so. And if you've got some tape over the back, you might find if you push it through a little bit, it'll just kind of swell at the back there, just to, just to seal off this section. So we want to create a similar effect on the external laminate if you're dealing with a core fill situation. So if you've got, uh, say, this is a core out of the transom of my boat, and you've got a layer of fiberglass laminate on either side of the core. So the first step is we want to ream it out with a 6.5 millimeter drill bit, straight bit, and then we're going to come along with our modified spade bit and create our plug shape here through the external laminate. And now when I force the filler through that, it's going to force through and possibly even balloon out on the other side. What that's going to do is create a plug which is shaped in a way that can't be forced through and because you've got sufficient bonding area here and here or here and here on the solid laminate section then it's not, it just can't pop out. Now the question it raises is what are you going to fill it with? There are lots of different options. So you could use polyester filler, such as a builder's bog, and I've used PlastiBond in the demonstration. Uh, it's quite brittle, um, so if there's a lot of flexibility, you might want to consider using a flexible epoxy. Uh, but it's a really good consistency. It dries fast, it doesn't sag or drip, because the majority of surfaces that you're going to be working on, of course, they're, they're not horizontal. 
So you can demonstrate them in a workshop and make them look fantastic on a horizontal surface, but very rare that you're working on a horizontal surface in the boat itself. So polyester filler will do the job and it'll probably outlast me. Um, if you want to go to a slightly stronger option, you could use glass reinforced polyester and that's an automotive product. Then you could use an epoxy putty uh, epoxy putty, also very strong, fast, easy to use with, sands, drills, and, and I think quite a good option. Um, if you want to stick with your existing substrate, then polyester resin can be filled using a glass bead filler. Um, depending on how much of that filler you put in, it gets less flexible and more brittle and more porous. So probably not my preferred option, but can be done. Now, if you want a really good explanation of, uh, of all the different options that are available, whether or not you use the West system, they divide uh, their products into adhesive fillers and fairing fillers. So they start with their basic epoxy, and of course, um, we want it to be a workable consistency like a putty. The adhesive fillers have strength and bonding properties which make it ideal for repairing holes in fiberglass. The fairing fillers um, are designed to create a fair surface which you can either paint over or gel coat over afterwards. In this case, I'm repairing from the outside. Usually you can get in through an access port somewhere and put a bit of tape on the inside. And in this case, I'm just using Sally's Plasti Bond. surface down with a bit of acetone. And there it is. Wait for that to dry. Now the fill is dried now and I can remove the backing. And on this side I'm going to need to just sand that back level. So I left it a little bit proud. I'm always searching for a better way. If you've got any constructive thoughts on the way I've gone about these repairs, just use the comments box below and let's get the conversation going. If you got something useful out of that video, it'd be great if you could give it the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for upcoming episodes.